Okay, welcome back, and number five. Satoko Hojo. Okay, I already stated that I don't have the picture because my computer is having trouble with it. So anyway, Satoko is an abused child, and that's mostly what's depressing about her. There's nothing really else that I find really sad about this character, but yeah. Well, in other arcs, she gets killed, but that's normal for the anime, because it's it's Higurashi. Of course there's going to be killing, slashing, and murdering. So, yeah, basically she's been abused by her uncle, who is probably one of the most worst anime characters, and so basically, she she was abused by him, and and one time she came to school crying because that night before she made dinner and um and her her uncle like smashed it in her face or whatever. It didn't show it, but that's what happened apparently. So, yeah, Satoko is number five. I, I don't really have anything else to say about her. But, yeah, let's move on. For Nagisa Furukawa, number four. Usually, people would think that Fuko is the saddest character on Clannad, but I picked Nagisa for one reason. Obvious spoilers will be here, and they are major. And so, Clannad After Story. Nagisa dies while giving birth to Ushio, which I was bawling over. I was just crying, and I was like, why did this have to happen, and stuff like that. But then, for some reason, I didn't feel as sad when Ushio died, even though Ushio's death was very sad. But the thing about it is, I think with the ending of Clannad After Story, I don't really think it was a time warp. Because at the end, I think it said that was an illusion when Nagisa was dying. Which she came back to life, basically, at the end. And then, yeah, that was probably one of the almost best anime endings ever because of how sad I was when Nagisa and Ushio died. But enough about Ushio. Rather than Nagisa dying in Clannad After Story, what happened that made her more depressing is how she was is how her parents had to leave her when she was sick at the house on there. Because um she wanted to wait for them, but then she ended up fainting in in the cold winter waiting outside for them, and then she blamed it all, all on herself later when she found out. But, so this was pretty much the saddest character on Clannad. Even though Fuko was pretty depressing, I have to say that Nagisa is the most. But there will be honorable mentions throughout, like, before number one, so, yeah. If you've seen Little Busters, you might know I put this character on the list. But if you might be wondering why is this character more depressing than the others, that I had on this list, well, it's kind of more of a different reason than the rest. 
either it's just like a sad past or just like or just death with the character. This one just had a really just flat out depressing past. This is probably the most depressing character on Little Busters. So basically what happens is one day when when Komari was sleeping, um Riki goes out and finds that she's mumbling Big Brother in her sleep. So then he finds out that that um her her big brother actually died and was like making a picture book for her and stuff like that. But it turned out that was supposed to be finished, but never actually was finished. But then every time that Komadi sees death, she starts to break down and and says like big brother and stuff like that. And starts to remember her big brother and gets really depressed about it. But then later, Riki decides to finish the book basically and redo it all. And how he finished it is that he said that ev that people are around her that cares for her basically, and that's how that arc ended. Which Little Busters is actually my third favorite anime next to Clannad, which is second. But really, this anime had a lot of depressing scenes. I almost put other characters on here, but that one character, I can't remember her name. I can never remember her name. So, yeah. But really, I think this character was more depressing anyway. So, on to number two. Oh my god, Angel Beats, yes. This was the first anime that made me cry so hard that I cannot believe. It was the ending. I wasn't very far into watching anime as I was, as I am into it now. But that was around, like, when I've seen about 40 or 30, and now I'm up to 160-something. So, yeah, Angel, or Kanade Tachibana, is a really depressing character. Because of the ending of Angel Beats, and how everyone thinks that she is, like, a terrible person, almost. But, really, with... Angel, I think, that she's depressing mainly just from the end. Because of how she disappears, because she can't say her feelings or whatever, I think. Yeah, I've seen the ending about four times. And it was like three times I rewatched it, and one of them I was just practicing so I wouldn't cry. <laughs> even though I did cry a little bit, again. But anyways... Angel Beats and Angel, the whole anime, is just depressing. I almost put Yui on here, but she didn't really quite make it, but she might be in the Honorable Mentions. Which we're about to move on to now! Fuko is pretty depressing, but she didn't make it fully onto the list. She made it to the honorable mentions, but that's as far as it goes, because, yeah, she's a girl in a coma who basically disappears at the end of her arc, yeah, and then in Clannad After Story, she comes back. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. That's basically Fuko in a nutshell, except with Clannad after story, when she comes back, she's out of the coma and like 20 something years old, and she still doesn't even look like it. But she. But later throughout the series in the original Clannad, she came back as a comedy relief, 
out of nowhere, like magically appearing, but no one remembers her. Because gradually on and on, people stop stop remembering her and stuff like that. So, yeah. I'm trying to make honorable mentions quick, just so you know. No. Yui number one, as I say, because Yui, there is a ton of different Yui's in anime. Yui on Diabolic Lovers, Yui on Kokodo Connect, Yui on Sword Art Online, Yui on K-On, and now Yui on Angel Beats. But this is the first Yui I discovered, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, so Yui is basically depressing in more of a happy way because the because when she disappeared she got everything that she wanted basically and that's how she passed on to not to disappear basically so yeah that's pretty much Yui but speaking of Yui's I almost put Yui from Sorted Online on here so Most people don't really like this character, but she deserves a spot in the honorable mentions. She is pretty depressing because she dies and then gets all this crazy stuff, like she reawakens, stuff like that. I don't know the word right now. And, yeah. If you know me pretty well, then you might know that Inuyasha... I think is one of the best animes probably ever made and probably actually the best long anime even though it scores an 11 on my list it might be just one of the best animes ever but still I don't know what else to say about Kikyo except huge spoiler warning that in season 5 she pretty much dies, but I haven't finished the whole anime, but still, I, I just went on to season six, so, yeah. Okay, Amnesia is one of my favorite sh shoujo animes, but I have to put Ukyo on this list for one reason only. It's because... At the end, he basically dies, and yeah. I mean, basically, he, he has a split personality, and he tries to save Heroin throughout the series by not dying, by having her not die. But then he'd, he'd rather have himself die than her, because the world's trying to kill Heroin, basically. So yeah, that's basically all to say about Okio. So, yeah. Now, time for number one. Chihiro off of F A Tale of Memories. This character is just flat out depressing. She is just, oh my god, it's depressing about her. Because, okay, basically, what she, like, what happens is she's, she's always at a train station, and she has an eye patch over her eye, but basically, the thing about her that makes her so depressing is that she only has 13 hours of memory. And then... And then she has a diary that tells her what happened the day before. So... Then what happens is, like, the, the guy on there tries to help her remember and stuff like that. Sometimes. But then, it's, she's just a 
terribly depressing character. I don't know how else to say it. She's just... Yeah. It's hard to explain into words, but I just think that she is, like, the most depressing character ever in anime. Yes, there might be more characters that, that are probably more depressing that I will soon probably think are. But for now, number one of, of the depressing anime characters is Chihiro. Okay, now, this is the end of my video. So, yeah, basically that's it. There's nothing else. Subscribe. Like, favorite, whatever, whatever you want to. I don't know. Anyways, I hope to see you next time in another top 10, which I don't know what's going to be next time. But anyway, goodbye.